Hi friends, today we're back with our next part of episode of The Prince's Bride. So we're about to start episode four, I think. Quickly, I want to give today's post notification shout out to official Valerie. If you guys want to shout out one of my videos, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications and comment down, down below. And also if you guys want to support the channel to help out with gem choices and stuff, you can become a channel member. Just hit the join button down below or click the link in my description. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so Theo had popped in our room, if I remember. We're on episode four. Skip our ad. <laughs> What do you want this time? <laughs> Goodness, is that any way to treat your future husband? Oh, great. Oops. Theo, may I come in? Of course. Sorry for being so moody. I thought you were Cordelia. Why would Cordelia be knocking on your door? She was here with two of her lackeys, or whatever you want to call them. She was? Why? Oh, my keyboard came up. I missed the last thing she said. Something about warning me she has no right to do that oh god how do i get my keyboard to go away go away um no theo it's fine i don't know what he said um i can handle myself especially against some stuck up brat like her i know you can handle yourself <laughs> that's one of the reasons i was so drawn to you you're very capable sir you're in my bedroom in the middle of the night what are you implying not a generic compliment but I'll take it. Thank you for coming tonight, for putting up with all this royal pomp and circumstance. It's meant so much to me that you're here, that you believe in us too. How are you feeling after the ball, guys? My bank account with these gems. <laughs> um, glad I was there with you, honestly. I'm feeling really happy, honestly. Even though it was my first ball, being there with you just felt so right. I know exactly what you mean. Did you get to try any of the food? There was food? Thought as much. When's the last time you ate anything? Honestly? It might have been those burgers at dinner. Oh, at the diner. Oops, why can't I read? <laughs> you must be famished. I guess I am a little hungry. Oh my god, are we going on a nighttime getaway to get food? <sighs> Come on. Where are we going? The palace's kitchen, obviously. Not us running there. Oh, that's a big kitchen. It's crazy to think that I would have been making the pastries for tonight's ball. And now... I'm here. I was hoping the staff might still have a few cupcakes laying around, but I think they've all gone to bed. It is after midnight, but I do know someone who might be able to make us some. Oh, do you? Do you think she might be willing? If you're sweet. <laughs> Me. How do you make them? You bake them, of course. Bake them with what? With eggs, flour, milk, butter, sugar, you know, cake, ingredients. Wait, have you never baked before? Oh my god, are they gonna have a flower fight? Or they like a flower on their nose and like start throwing it at each other? Oh my god, and then the dad walks in and then he thinks I'm like a disgrace? Please, that needs to happen just so I can like boost my own ego for being right. Never. I actually can't remember the last time I was even in the kitchen. Oh, we are going to do some baking. We are? Yep, help me grab the stuff we need. My pajamas match the freaking kitchen gadgets. Here you go, I got the mixer and... Look what else I found. <laughs> Chef's hat. Now I look the part. You look ridiculous. I think you mean deliciousness. It should have said deliciousness, not delicious. I'm pretending it said deliciousness. Come on, chef. Let's mix this up. What do you do while they're cooling? We get started on the toppings. I'm going to whip up some buttercream frosting. It's really easy. Butter, powdered sugar, and I like to add a little bit of pink food color. So what now? I'll check the fridge for some vanilla extract. Can you turn the mixer on? Oh God, it's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> yes, chef. What number, 10? No, not, <sighs> I knew it. <laughs> 10 is a bit high for powdered sugar. Are you okay? <laughs> Perfect, put on my face. <laughs> it is 100% all over your face. I like a guy that can like do something like that and laugh about it. Clean yourself up, we need to frost these cakes. Which cake are you talking about? After you frosted the cupcakes, he- Oh my god, those look so like real. After you frosted the cupcakes, he grins at you, unable to hide his excitement. I can't believe we made these. Taste them, tell me what you think. Which flavor is your favorite? Chocolate, baby. My favorite is chocolate. <gasps> Mine too. <laughs> oh, he loves them. Oh my god, wow. They're absolutely delicious, Kendall. Oh my god, you gotta love some. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You have a little frosting. Where? Right? Oh, here. Oh! <laughs> you slowly bring your hand to his face, your fingertips lingering on his lips. <laughs> oh my god, is this YouTube friendly? As he slowly smiles at you, what are you doing? Kiss the frosting off, honey. Oh, 
not him pushing us against the countertop. I don't know if this is YouTube friendly, but y'all can read for yourselves, okay? I thought the cupcakes were delicious, but you taste even sweeter. Goodbye. I am gonna go die in a hole. Let's take these cupcakes to your room where we won't be disturbed. You carry the cupcakes to your room where you get into your bed and start devouring the platter. The two of you get under the covers and cuddle up close. Nestled in his arms, you feel safe and content until you start to drift off to sleep. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's his dad <laughs> who's knocking. Oh no, we fell asleep. What time is it? It's 6.15. Kendall, are you awake? <laughs> oh my God. Is that your mother? She can't know I'm in here. Why? Because it's against the rules. What do you mean it's against the rules? It's a whole big rule to stop any shotgun marriages. I'm not allowed to sleep with any of the potential brides. But we haven't slept together we only slept together do you want to try explain that to my mother not the own literally breaking the rules and risking our relationship by coming to my room not really you have to hide quick go in the closet <laughs> don't make a sound i'm not accustomed to be kept waiting oh get over it <laughs> i'm sorry your highness your majesty a monarch is a majesty. To what do I owe the honor of you visiting me so early, your majesty? We didn't have a real opportunity to speak yesterday. With the ball and all the things going on, yes, I won't beat around the bush. I know every woman my husband invited here. I approved of every woman my husband invited. They are the most accomplished girls of the highest pedigrees in the world. <laughs> and then there's you. Miss Kendall Jones of Povertyville, the palace staff member trying to weasel her way into royal blood. Don't think I haven't seen this before. You could be here to sabotage my son and steal the crown. She's just worried about Theo. This could be my chance to win her over and put her mind at ease. Not to mention, Theo can totally hear me right now. I need to speak from the heart. Your Majesty, I don't really know how to convince you, so I think the best thing I can do is speak from the heart. First off, I swear to you that my intentions with Theo are honorable. I really care about him a lot. I don't know what happened between your son and I, but we shared a connection. It was like lightning and it hit us both so hard that a bond was created. The more time we spend together, the more that bond is growing. I know that you want what's best for Theo, but honestly, that's what I want too. I want him to be happy and I think he's the happiest when he's with me. You barely know my son. That's true, but honestly, the more I get to know him, the more I feel myself falling. Oh, this is so cute. What do you mean falling? Falling in love? I've never been in love before, so I don't know what falling in love feels like. All I know is when I see Theo, my heart beats a little faster. Every moment I spend with him, I'm happier than I've ever been before. And every time we say goodbye, I'm counting the moments until the next time we can be together. You are silly fanciful girl. I don't know what this ridiculous obsession with love is, but love has no place in a royal marriage. The sooner you understand that, the better. Oh, this is so intense. Good day, mate. Oh my god, not him just popping up behind us. You feel a little crushed as she stomps out of your room, but then I heard every word you said and I feel the same. Oh, he pulls us into a passionate kiss. I know things between us are moving fast, but I don't think I could step on the brakes if I tried. You make my heart beat. You make my soul smile. I don't know what falling in love feels like, but this is the start of it. I don't ever want to stop falling. My book heart is dying. I really just wanted her to see I'm not here for bad reasons. You tried your best. She just has a very old fashioned way of seeing things. You weren't kidding. She really does want Cordelia to marry you. Have you told her that you don't like her? My mother would never let a little thing like my feelings get in the way of what she thinks is best. She delights in telling me she didn't love my father when they married. She made such a huge sacrifice for the good of the kingdom. Monarchs cannot be selfish and choose love over the good of their country. What if love is the best thing for the country? Then- I love you, Kendall. Is she back? Quick. Get back in the closet. Good morning. Sorry if you were sleeping, but I couldn't wait. The palace has been inundated with presents. Presents? Presents for you. Mostly clothing from various designers all over the world. They're all desperate to get their clothing on you for the event. For me? But why? Haven't you been online this morning? You're going viral. I am. Look, aren't they like not allowed their phones? Oh my gosh. Here, try on some of your new clothes. I can't wait to see which designer you pick. I'll just put them down over here on your bed and- Theo? <laughs> Are you too serious? Theo, I can see you peeking out of the closet. 
you idiot. Stop, that's so funny. Good morning, Mathilde. You're looking well. You two are so smitten. It's a little sickening. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? Of course I'm not. It's even better Theo is here. He can help you choose which designer you like the most. Oh yes, let me see what they've given you. The Paris designer. Oh my god, I love that. The sweater with the skirt. No, sweater with the skirt, please. I love it. Paris couture. It doesn't get much better than that. City of love. I can't take my eyes off you in this outfit. You just look beautiful. So, what should I tell the designer? I'd be honored. Please tell them how truly honored I am to accept their amazing gift. The honor is entirely theirs, I'm sure. Is that what you're wearing today? You look beautiful. I'll wear... Yeah, this one. This one. You look absolutely amazing. Are the two of you coming down to breakfast? Actually, I promised Kendall that I'd take her riding first thing this morning. Are we still going? Of course. Well, you can't just go riding in pajama buttons. <laughs> Please, can he match? Come on, Theo. I'll help you sneak back into your room. Meet me in the stable in half an hour. Oh my god. Something's gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to make it. I'll bring a picnic. We can eat breakfast out in the meadows. That sounds wonderful. He gives you a quick kiss on the cheek before leaving with Mathilde. A half hour later, you're trying to find your way to the stables. Honestly? Your majesty? I swear to you. Cordelia. I'm trying my best to rise above it. But she is so incredibly uncouth. It is such a struggle to remain poised. I understand your struggle, Cordelia. Worry not. I have a plan to ensure Kendall does not pass the first challenge. <gasps> not the Queen and Cordelia plotting against me. Keep reading to find out. <sighs> See you guys in the next one.